Children Church, yeah! I'm happy to see you that you came to church. So now we're going to do something that's incredible and that's called worship. We don't just worship, we praise at the same time. We lift up our, uh, our hands up. So now you can stand on your feet right now at this moment. Just check if your friend is jumping like Duando, you know? Let's go. Let's go. You know how we do it? Yeah. There we go. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So let's worship. Get your tambourines out, play those strings and shout the love we have. Much to celebrate, shout that shout of victory, play those drums and hit those keys. We're holding nothing back. Praise the Lord. Let's give us Let us pray. We just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the great worship that we just had with you. And we just want to say we love you, Lord Jesus, because you love us too. And we pray all of this in the name of Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, on the day after Jesus was transfigured, 
When they had come down from the mountain, a large crowd met him. Among them were experts in the law. Then a man from the crowd cried out, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He is my only child. A spirit seizes him and he suddenly screams. It throws him into convulsions and causes him to foam at the mouth. It hardly ever leaves him alone, torturing him severely. I begged your disciples to cast it out, but they could not do so, Jesus answered. You unbelieving and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you and endure you? Bring your son here as the boy was approaching. The demon threw him to the ground and shook him with convulsions. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy and gave him back to his father. Then they were all astonished at the mighty power of God. Hello, Active Kids. So good to be with you all again today. I have missed you so much. I'm going to ask you a question this morning, right? What are the five most important things for us to grow our relationship with God? Well, today we are going to look at the first priority. Okay, what is number one for us? Number one is God first. Putting God first. The Bible teaches us that we must love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. So we're going to say this together. We must love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. Come on, we're going to say it again. We must love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. We're going to do it one more time. Okay, let's do it again. We must love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. Yes, give yourselves a hand. That was absolutely brilliant. Well done. Good job. Good job, boys and girls. Now, The Bible also teaches us that we should have no gods above God. What does that mean? That we don't make other things more important than God. What are the things that we can choose to make more important than God? Maybe playing with our friends. Maybe watching our favorite show on the iPhone or iPad. Maybe we make playing games more important than God. The Bible teaches us that we should have no other gods above God. Why is this? Because we were created by God. Yes, to be loved by Him and also to love him and not to love anything more than him or putting anything above him. God knows that putting other things or people above him is harmful to us because those things pull us away. Yes, they pull us away from him and from having a special and close and beautiful relationship with him. And God loves us. Boys and girls, He loves us so, 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 so much that He wants to have a special and close and beautiful relationship with us. He wants to bless us and provide for us and work in our lives so that we can tell everyone that God is amazing and tell them what He has done for us. You know, in the story today, the Bible shows us that Jesus healed a demonic boy because he loved him so much. The disciples prayed for the boy but could not help him. But then Jesus commands the demon to go and the demon has to bow down to Jesus and leave the boy alone. The disciples are confused because they were not able to help the boy. And when they ask Jesus why, he teaches them that some of his work to help others includes fasting and prayer. Yes, fasting and prayer. They loved him and wanted to do his work here on earth to help others so they could tell all people what God had done for them and for others. And Jesus tells them to deepen their relationship with God and increase their faith in Him by fasting and prayer. Yes, fasting and prayer helps. 
Perhaps there are things that you are putting above God. Maybe like your friends, maybe gaming or other things. Whatever it is, I want you to close your eyes for a minute and say sorry to God for putting other things above Him. Just say, sorry, Lord, for putting these things above you. And then you're going to name them, right? So I want you to just close your eyes, okay? Let's close our eyes together, all right? Come on, let's say, sorry, Lord, for putting these things above you. Now tell God what those are. Great. Good job. Good job. Yes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close in prayer together. Right. Let's close our eyes again. All right. All eyes closed. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please forgive us when we have put other things above you. We don't want to put anything above you. Please help us to put you first. We want to love you with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. Please help us to do this. We want to give you all of our hearts. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Right, boys and girls, it is time for Joshua and Caleb's Gona. Yes, the coolest time of Active Children's Church. And I will see you next week. Have a wonderful week. Love you lots. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Today we're doing our vision goggles. They look so funky. Yes. And these vision goggles are for when we just need to remember that we need to have God's vision. Yes? Are you ready to make them? Yes. Deepy goggy pa. So Josh and Caleb's corner. Okay, so what we're gonna need for today is Susati sticks. We're going to need an egg box, preferably an egg box with a long nose like that, but if you can't find one, that's okay. Some paints and some paint brushes and some water to make sure you can clean the paint off, the and, brushes. And this. This is a stapler or you can use glue. Or you can use a scissor. And you need a scissor. And you need stars. Yes, we're going to have stars. All right, so. And we need the paper. So where you put the paper. And then we need this. Then we can clean it. Yes, so we put the paper down so we don't miss paint on the, the table. So make sure that that gets done. And here's okay? brushes so you, so you don't need to lose it with your fingers. Yes. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Now ask your, your mommy or your daddy to help. You know what? I forgot we don't even need the stapler. It's fine, just like this. See? So Joshua's, yours looks like that. Caleb's, yours looks like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to... Okay, there's your brush. There's your facey. No, you don't do that first. Don't put water first, okay?
take this and we're going to stick it in the bottom over here. And then what we can do, thank you Caleb, is we can stick our little eyes in the middle. There's our one eye, there's our other eye. Because we want to make sure that you remember that we need to see the vision, right? And the vision is awesome. We want to see God's vision all of the time. So we stick our little stars as reminders that God's vision is going to be amazing. It's going to be like stars in our eyes. And there is our vision goggles. Shall we try them out? Vocabulary, death ain't in my bow. Vocab, vocabulary. 